be talking to London, the CEO of Snob Nails. Check. Every day my brain hurt. Cause every day I gotta make my brain work. The every day into my every day. Every day a sun is born and every day gets sunset. Every day you wake up be a blessing someone won't get. Every day somebody fail, every day somebody win. Hope somebody praying for me. Every day the way I sin, use the right and wrong screw. Thoughts prove from everyday stress. They have a way more than your everyday sex. A podcast interview with the Faith Amina show, okay? And she's going to ask me some questions, and of course I'm going to answer them because y'all know I love to run my mouth. So, enjoy, tune in, leave feedback, and stay tuned. Okay, so first we're going to get started with me telling you how I found this lovely lady. It was about two years ago. I was on Instagram, and I found Snob Nails. And I was like, oh, her nails are really nice. They're really good. And so I contact her, and she's like, oh, I'm over in, I believe it's like Northeast, off of, off of, what was it? Benin Road. Benin Road, right. Yeah. Benin Road. So I'm going over there, and I'm looking around like, this is not what I'm used to. Because, you know, most nail techs, uh, most nail moms are in salons. Right. But it was like my first time doing with the African American nail tech. And so when I get in there, she's like, welcome. She's super friendly. It was really nice. And I was like, oh, this is why I should have been coming all along. Anyway, because, you know, when you go to other salons, they're not really all that friendly. You know, they kind of talk to you kind of bad, but she was super nice, super chill. She did my nails, and I loved them. And I just think that throughout the hustle and bustle of life, I lost track of her. And two years later, now she has a whole salon, a whole school, and she's booming. And I was like, oh, I just, the progression of her work has been awesome. And I'm so excited that she's come this far. And I could say that, you know, I've started out on Brennan Road with her, you know. <laughs> I know you started off as a nail, uh, no, as a nurse, mm -hmm. and now you're a master nail uh, technician. Correct. How did you find the love for nails? Well, I tell people all the time, I really didn't find the love for nails. I feel like nails found me, if that makes any sense. And reason being, when I originally set out on this nail journey, it was not to do nails. I set out trying to figure out a way to make money comparable to what I was making as a nurse, but do it from an entrepreneurial standpoint where I wouldn't be so stuck in the work setting, if that makes any sense. And so I have went through like all these ideas of different businesses that people definitely wanted and that I had saw a need for, but what would realistically bring in enough money and realistically give me the freedom. And so, of course, the beauty industry makes hundreds of billions of dollars a year and I was like okay well what is there in beauty can't stand here don't like here so I knew here was not for me okay but I was like okay but how about nails or whatever right now granted I never even used to get my nails done when I say I was a total novice to all of this if I did get my nails done literally in like two days I'm taking them off because I can't function with them I can't move with them I can't do any of those things right but I knew that the nail business and industry was lucrative because of course everybody always gets their nails done regardless of what they're getting, if it's a full set, a manicure, pedicure, whatever, there are, someone's always getting a service done, right? So I said, you know what, I'm going to open up a nail salon. Didn't know nothing about business, didn't know how to run a business, didn't even know about nails, okay? But I knew that as long as I hired people that knew, you know, the actual craft of doing nails, that I could run my business from a standpoint that would give people the opportunity to flourish. So that was like my biggest goal. Now, stop now. How did you come up with this thing? Now, if anybody knows who my goat is, okay, shout out to Ming Lee. I am Ming Lee, okay? Okay, yes. So, anybody knows who she is? She owns Snob Life Studios, mm -hmm. okay? In so, Atlanta. Exactly, in Atlanta, right. So, basically, when she first came out, I discovered me. okay, so let me say this. I discovered me off of a YouTube, okay? She had a pronto YouTube, and back then, of course, I had fell on hard times, and I was trying to figure out, like, different ways to do my hair for cheap and all this other stuff, because, you know, I've always been my weave, and I was at a point where I couldn't afford to keep getting my weave done, okay? Exactly. So, I went, and I seen the video, and when I seen the video, I was like, let me just go see if this person got an IG, okay? So, I went, and I saw, and, like, at the time, I think she had, like, 3,000 followers, and back then, when IG was first started, 3,000 followers, that was a lot, okay? Because I had, like, maybe 50 or 60, and then, come to find out, she was starting her business, you know, at the same time, and I was just like, yo, I gotta be about it. Everything this girl is doing, I gotta do. So, she was like, my 
my motivation as far as starting my business, getting on my toes. Like, literally, when I started my shop, I was like, yo, she got these little steps, I need these little steps. Mm -hmm. You know, she's doing this marketing, I got to do this marketing, everything. I was soaking it, it all up. And then come to find out who her goat was, and knowing that Kim Kimora Lee Simmons was her goat, and how she just, you know, like, basically, I'm not going to say worship, but how we idolized what great women were doing and we wasn't hating on it, that's what made me respect me even more. And so from that standpoint, I said, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and I want to name my business Snob Nails. Where's the, where has Snob Nails taken you? Like, what's the craziest place you've been with Snob Nails? Man, I will definitely, definitely say the, the, one of my greatest accomplishments ever. And if you know me, you know I'm a person that I don't glow, I don't, I don't, I'm a very humble person, if that makes any sense, okay? Mm -hmm. And so, being as though I'm a very humble person, I don't put out who I've worked with. I don't put out, you know, those things simply because I believe I let my passion and my work speak for itself versus saying, oh, yeah, I'm a celebrity nail tech because I've done this person. Or I'm a celebrity nail tech because I've done that person. Or, you know, like, oh, I'm good because I got this amount of money. No. But I would definitely say the day Kim Kardashian grabbed my hand and was like, oh, my God, stop nails. I just totally love your work. And I was like, my my inner me was like, bitch. I'm oh, sure. But, and no disrespect, I don't have a hand, bro. And I was just like, it's how the fuck do you know who I am? However, I found out how she knew, and it was just like a really, like, oh my God. Anytime she knows, right. and her camp is like, vouching. Right. Then that lets me know that yeah, I'm doing something good and something great. So I would definitely say that was like the oh my god moment. But as far as like where has Nell taken me, I have gone literally traveled to every not every city, but a lot of cities, a lot of countries, a lot of different states teaching. And it's crazy that people reach out to me. When I had a lady reach out to me in South Africa and was like, yo, I really want you to come over here. I want you to bring this. I want you to teach. Even in the um Vietnamese community, you know, I get a lot of the shop owners asking me, can you come through and teach, da 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 And I would definitely say my proudest moment was probably the BET Awards and going out there and literally having so many people want me to do their nails and I'm so busy that I don't even have time. I got to turn on celebrities like me. I got to say no. That is like some... That's some real shit, you know. Yeah. That that's like some okay. You you doing it and you doing it well, but at the same time, I can still sit there and remain humble, and I'm not like turning it down. Like oh no, I don't have time for that. I'm just like, well, sorry because like your friend needs me to do mm -hmm. well, you know. Like, like still, I'm I sorry want to do it right now. Exactly, I exactly. So I would definitely say it has taken me to stages. It has taken me to. Oh my God, everywhere, you know, mm -hmm. definitely everywhere. And I believe it's more of just people loving the genuineness of me mm -hmm. and my that goes along with my work, not just like, oh yeah, her work is good, so I want her. No, it's the conversations, the right. sidebars, you know, the water cooler talks that we can definitely sit and have. And it'd be great conversation and right. you learn something from it, not just like, oh yeah, she called her work good, but girl, she drowned. She, no, it's like, you want all, when you experience me, you want to have fun, you want to learn something, you want to grow from it, you want to get something out of it. Even if you don't take it that day, I guarantee you, you want to get your Go nails. Back. I'll look back two weeks later and be like, yo, she told me this. Let me go. You, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I would definitely say it's taken me a lot of good places. I can tell, I can tell. I can put you on. So with that being said, what I have a listener uh, letter. Okay. And the listener letter goes as somebody in the, in the business trying to start their own business or in the midst of starting their own business, what advice would you give them? I would definitely say block everyone out and listen to your own inner thoughts. And if you believe in yourself, make it happen. I would never under any circumstance try and vouch or validate it or explain my thoughts or my business plans or you know what I see from myself and my business to anyone that did not understand you know never entertain an argument with someone never entertain someone downing it or telling you why you can't do it because the moment that someone is able to stir or veer your mindset even though you might not say you're not going to pay attention to it it will weigh on you you know but if you block everything out 
and you literally only depend on yourself to be your support system while you're trying to get through that business storm, watch the greatness that comes out of it. Because no one, no one will ever cheer for you and be in your corner the way that you are. Not even your own parents, not even your best friends, not even your children, okay? Mm -hmm. When you're doing what you gotta do, because everybody always wants something out of something. You know, always, regardless of if they're your best friend, your biggest cheerleader, someone always wants something out of it in the end. So, if you literally duck off and then are in your own grow time, in your own grind season, watch what comes out of it versus you having 20 people in the pot and you listening to 50 people tell you you can't do this and 20 people telling you you can do this and 10 people saying, okay, well, I'll help you, but, or, you know, want a person want a percentage of this and a percentage of that. Hell no. Block everybody out. Okay. And grind. So, I know a lot of people say, you know, you got to put in that 10,000 those 10,000 10, hours. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in that or do you think there's more to the 10,000 hours? Now, 10,000 hours you're referring to, I don't know what you're really talking about. <laughs> but if it's, they're talking about like time frame wise, mm -hmm. like is it to get your putting, business started or? Your, just putting work into your craft. Whatever okay. It may be. So yes, most definitely. Even when you get one, you still can't stop becoming great. Even when you get to a point, uh, and like if I was at this, well not if I, but at the point that I am right now, if I felt like, all right, I made it and I'm good and I can't do anything else, Watch how quick somebody is itching to get right here, right beside me, and I'll beat me. So you always have to stay one step ahead of your opponent. The only difference is you can't look at them as your opponent. You have to look at them as your teammate, you know, okay. even if you don't even know them. You know, it's so many girls' pages that I will follow, and I will just watch their work. I told you, I randomly send cash out to people, of like, and then be like, go buy nail supplies. I will randomly drop in females' DMs and guys' DMs that are doing nails and be like, yo, this was good, but... Go buy this product and see how it works. Or, okay, I saw that you was using this. Let Can I have an address to send you that? Or the address might be posted and just send it. Mm -hmm. I'm all about the, the, the betterment of others, you know? Right. So, yes, you can never stop what you're doing. You, you can never, under any circumstances, think that you have reached your peak. Because the moment that you think that you have reached your peak is somebody coming for you. That's going on in the culture, in our culture. So, recently, you've done some really dope nails. And they have... I guess they were inspired by this really cool DMV uh, fashion line called Eat. Mm -hmm. uh, how was how did that inspiration come about doing your Eat nails? Got you. So if anybody knows me, you know I love my city. I love being from where I'm from. I love everything about DC. I love everything about my community, where I come from. I go around here. I still have my home around here. Like everything in me breathes, loves, and eats DC. And so. I feel like with a lot of people, if people, some people do know who the owner is, some people don't. So Malik actually owns Eat, okay? Shout out to Malik and shout out to Eat, all homage on Instagram. Right. And basically, I try to, I'm not going to say shed light on DC, but I try to shed light on people doing positivity in our community, if that makes mm -hmm. any sense. And so outside of just his clothing brand, he does a lot of other okay. good stuff, you know? Yes. And the fact that... Again, I tell people all the time, I don't personally know him, you know, mm -hmm. but I know a lot of people that know him and I know his story and, you know, just like certain things like that. And so from when I was trying to figure out what was this week's thing the nails I wanted to do, it was all about, you know, for our culture. And so when I put the eat on there, I guess everybody went crazy and started calling them eat nails. But honestly, I was trying to pay homage to my city in general oh, okay. because so I put the skyline and then, okay, of course you can't wear or come to D.C. without new balances, yeah. exactly, and then of course, eat is like our main staple right, right now. now, you know, like how yeah. back in the day, shooters used to be in, mm -hmm. and um, what's the other one? Oh my God, the um, Sabiato, yeah. you know, like all of those things, so I was trying to figure out what did I want to do that represented my city and my community the best, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to put Eat on here, I got to do our skyline, and I got to make it pop, and I got to make it happen. So that's where it came from. It literally just came from, he's worth it. Like, he, mm -hmm. his company is definitely worth paying homage to. Yeah. yeah. Now we're going to jump back into, congrats, so congratulations are due to you. Thank you. You are coming out with your new uh, Snob Nails and Nail Tech University yes. in November. Yes. Can yes. you give us a little more information about that? Okay. I know it's top secret, but what right. can you tell us? <laughs> Okay, so let me say, what can I tell you without management PR and everybody going crazy on me, okay? What can I definitely say? I can definitely say it will definitely be a game changer. How I came into this nail industry and I changed a lot about, about being a um, beauty innovator and an educator, I will definitely say this school will 
Well, <sighs> let me have my pocky moment. Okay, do it. Do it. This yeah. school gonna shit on everything and everybody that ever tried to do what the fuck they tried to do yes. in education, now technology. That's all I'ma say. Okay. <laughs> so now back to the humble me. I would definitely say that this school is going to literally change the nail game. This school will be the first and only accredited nail technology university, okay? Mm -hmm. So there's never ever been anything like this ever created in the state of Maryland. I don't know about other states, but I honestly don't think so either. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have the Department of Education backing me. I have the State Board backing me. Like I have a, a lot of good people backing me. And the fact that they want me to win and they want to see me bring this to the forefront because I have proven numbers and success rate on just the classes and stuff. But my biggest thing is being able to properly educate these women and men that want to plan on attending the school and literally really getting them to be able to go forward and make money right out of school. You know, right. also with it being able to take financial aid and stuff, that's like super great and super good because that's the biggest problem that you run into. A lot of people, they want to become a nail tech or they want to, you know, do something in the nail industry, but they're not able to because they cannot afford it because most schools, don't issue, you know, I mean, most, yeah, most uh, schools don't issue government funding and or they don't issue, um, what do you call it, financial aid simply right. because the school is so short, mm -hmm. but being as though I was able to, you know, shake and move a little bit, you know, you know, you know, yeah. so I got a little, you know, I got a little bit things done, you know, you know, so my school would definitely accept financial aid, it will be a hundred percent um, trade school, so you're coming there and you're leaving with your actual licensure, not just a certification. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna make it do what it do. I'm I'm excited about it. I'm okay. definitely definitely excited about it. Also, it's not just only gonna teach um nails. It's I got some things on my sleeve. When I say okay. a university, it means that it's gonna be in in November. Yes. What's the location we're thinking? Or you so about? it's gonna be in College Park. Okay, I will give you a hint. All right, it is metro accessible. There's lots of parking. Um, what else? It's good food around. Oh, <laughs> that's so, okay. you know, okay. so, you just have to wait so now November. you just gotta wait for the address to try. Right. Exactly. And so, when will your like first classes begin? Now that I have to, that I gotta finish working out the kinks as mm -hmm. far as what is gonna be the official start date and how I'm gonna do it because class is not that long. My like class, when it comes to the way I'm gonna do my school, it's not that long. So I'm trying to figure out what dates I want to start and what this I want to do and what that I want to do. So I haven't worked out of all those kinks, but as far as the actual opening date and stuff, I do have that in mind. As far as, like, what's going to be taught in the curriculum, that's all set in stone. It's just now about, all right, when do we officially want to take our first graduating class? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we come to the end, almost, of our interview. And I just want to know, like, where can people find you mm -hmm. in the social media around in, in the city? Because I know you put on for the DMV. Okay. Um, where can we find you? If you are anywhere around the DMV, D.C., Merlin, or Virginia, roll up. Simple Hills, Merlin, located in a lower level Iverson Mall, okay? Or roll up on my new location out in College Park. Address dropping soon. But honestly, to book me, get your nails done by me, do anything involving me, 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 okay? You can find me at on IG at Snob Nails. That's at S-N-O-B-N-A-I-L-S, -S, okay? You can Google snobnailsindustry.com to get all information about the salon, the classes, the universities, mentorship, everything is there. Or you can simply pop up. Give me hugs. Come see me. I love food. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, shout out for the food. <laughs> This has been so great, guys. Stay tuned because these nails are about to be on fleek. Yes. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you. This my everyday. This my everyday.